In this video, we are going to be unboxing a bunch of Monster High. I did a poll on Instagram for this video. Um, my previous video, I did a poll on my YouTube channel in the community tab, and a Integrity toy was the winner. Uh, this time, it was on Instagram, and the winner was Monster High as the next thing I should unbox. So, in this video, I have the Slow Mo and Ghoulia Yelps two pack. This Cleo Denial pack with shoe accessories. And this two pack of Deuce Gorgon and Gillington Weber. Let's take a quick look at the packaging first. Let's start with my Cleo Denial here. Now I specifically picked this doll because it doesn't appear that she has any uh, tinsel or metallic strands in her hair, and I really wanted one without that. Um, and I also love that she came with all these accessory options. On the back of the box, you can see an illustration of Draculara and Cleo, and it looks like they are shoe shopping together. This Deuce and Gillington 2-pack has a game theme. I love how it says ghouls not included because this is a Manster 2-pack. On the back of the packaging is an illustration of Deuce and Gil. And basically the text says that the Mansters have ditched the ghouls for a night of intense gameplay. And then our Slow Mo and Ghoulia 2 pack has a dance date theme. On the back of the box has a very large illustration of the couple. And the text talks about how they are going to the prom together. So now let's get to the unboxing. So here they all are out of the packaging. Let's start with Cleo. First off, she came with a doll stand. She came with these sunglasses. I like the detail in the frames. Her hair came styled in this short bob and it does not have any tinsel strands, but however, her hair is kind of like cemented to her head with hair products. So I'm definitely gonna have to wash her hair, but I really like the style. She comes wearing these kind of teal triangle shaped earrings, a purple collar, a gold belt, this purple wristband, and this little black bracelet. Her outfit is two pieces, uh, both Velcro in the back. Her top is actually like a one-piece leotard, and then her pants are kind of a sheer fabric that comes to the knees. And these are the awesome shoes she comes wearing. I love the gold sandal detail. She also came with two pairs of shoes. We've got these teal and gold platform sandals and these black and purple ones. She came with a pair of purple earrings, this paperboard shopping bag, and a Monster High brush. Now let's take a look at Gil and Deuce. This two pack came with two doll stands and two diaries, one for each character. They also came with these game night accessories, including two soda cans. They came with two of these. I guess it's supposed to be some kind of, maybe it's a gaming device, like a Nintendo Switch or something. I'm not really sure. But they also have this game board and kind of like a gameplay map. It includes two game pieces, a teeny tiny dice, and this game board. Here's Gil wearing his helmet, of course. He is actually holding the other gaming device. Let's take off his helmet so we can take a closer look at his head. We can see his head fins, which are kind of flipped over to the side as if this is his hairstyle. He does not have any ears, but he does have his gills on his neck. He has those awesome fin details on his arms and his legs and the webbing in his hands. He is wearing a, a two-piece outfit. He's got on some black board shorts and this kind of
kind of lavender and teal top. Both items Velcro in the back. And he's wearing some purple slides. You can see the little fish scale detail. Then we have Deuce wearing his snakes in a mohawk formation. He's got his earring. He is holding his signature sunglasses. And his outfit is two pieces consisting of this silver snake decal sleeveless t-shirt, these green pants and his white sneakers with black laces, the pants and the top Velcro in the back. Oh, and don't forget to point out his scaling on his arm. Lastly, we have Gulia Yelps and Sloman Slomo Mordovic both of whom are children of zombies. They did not come with doll stands, very disappointing. They did come with a diary for both of them and a bouquet of brain flowers. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see, but in the box they came with their hands rubber banded together and I'd hate to separate them, but let's look at them one at a time. So first we have Gulia, who is wearing, first off, it looks like a plastic flower in her hair that matches her brain bouquet. Her hair is in a very solid beehive. She's wearing her signature awesome red eyeglasses, some very interesting hand earrings. Her necklace looks like two skulls resembling a couple of cherries. She is wearing a cute little dress with a heart print, the inside of which looks like kind of a rib cage. The dress is all one piece and Velcro's in the back. I like the little red satin ribbon detail around the waist and the netting around the bodice. I also like this blue netting detail on the trim. She is wearing some pretty cool looking red wedge heels. Slow-mo has Locked sides and then rooted top to his hair. So here's one thing I'm really not happy about. The holes in the back of Slow Mo's head where all the little plastic tags attached him to the packaging. Why would you do this, Mattel? Why? 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 But he is wearing a purple top and has printed on like tuxedo suit detail. You can see a little spider there. He's wearing black pants with a purple stripe. These are two separate pieces that Velcro in the back. And he is wearing these purple shoes. In terms of articulation, both Gulia and Cleo have movement at the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. Whereas the guys have movement at the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, and ankle. What do you think of these Monster High dolls in these specific sets? As always, I love the detail, the design of the outfits, the accessories. I mean, really, it's such a creative doll line and I very much miss it. If you want to comment on this video, you can go to the link below to my website and let me know how much you miss Monster High. <laughs>